Okay, greetings everybody. So this is Paul from the Cycling 101. So I don't know if the camera angle is going to pick this up, but I'm actually disassembled the freewheel. This is the freewheel body with the keyway. Um, I'm washing the parts here. And then over here, I have the freewheel body right here, which we can't get off without the special tool. But um, I'm accessing that bearing in there. We're going to grease that bearing. Um, also on the other side. Um, so all these parts are in great shape. Um, we just want to do a service. So what a service requires is we disassemble the freewheel and I wash every single one of these sprockets. Um, we're going to repack it with grease. Um, I don't know if the camera angle is going to pick this up, but you know this is 25 years okay. of uh, wear on that cone where the silver line is. It's all pitted and worn. So, what we're going to end up doing is, um, I'm going to end up, now one way you can um, get a little more life out of your, your wheel, um, as long as the cup on the drive side is okay, mm -hmm. you could swap cone nuts. So the non-drive side is in great shape, but this is worn because of all the torque. So I'm going to swap it. Um, we're also going to swap the bearings out, repack it, and redo it. Um, so I have the wheel off right now on the bike, um, and then um, I'll put this all back together and it'll work good. Now on this, this is called a freewheel body. If you had a cassette, you would have a one inch spline sticking out of your rim where the sprockets to slide off. Well, this kind of works the same way. Um, this ring actually threads into here. And it's sort of like a cassette assembly. Um, you know, you could take it partially apart. You could just, you could leave the raceway ring in on the wheel, and then you could just slide off the sprockets and change them. Um, kind of works the same way, but I like to take the whole thing apart. I like to, I like to service the whole thing because it's going to work better that way. Um, grease of choice is going to be bearing grease, high temperature. Um, this is probably overkill for probably what we're using it for, but um, my my complete um, opinion on this is that this is something that you don't want to go cheap on. You, you, you want to have it to where you put it together, you ride it, you know it's right. Um, and you can get this at your local store here. Um, so the temperature on this, this goes up to 500 degrees and it goes down to minus five degrees and it'll still operate so that's that's a good thing because if one of those would be riding bikes in the winter the, this would be a good way to do that so um, if you like the video hit the like button if you like to subscribe hit the subscribe button link in description below cheers folks